So we've talked about the tools, we've talked about layers. Now it's time to get out the brush and the eraser. So the first thing I want you to do is just go to the window menu and get out the tool presets. Now, if you have current tool only unchecked, this is what you see. If it is checked, you probably see a shorter list. What this is, is a big list of presets that Photoshop gives you, and we don't want any of them. So left click here on this menu and say, replace tool presets. And if you haven't already, download my Control Paint Basic 3 Plus tool preset file, and then just locate it on your hard drive, and here's what you get. Make sure to keep the current tool only box unchecked. So this is just an entire list of all of your tool presets. There are a variety of different ways to keep track of the specific types of brushes and erasers you have. But what I find is that a short list like this is great. It's really all you need. And the way you use it is actually really simple. So I'll make a new layer here just so I don't mess up my current artwork. And I will pick the flat brush. And you can paint with it or switch to the hard round brush, paint with it. The soft round is a bit like an airbrush. We have the technical pen way up top, and that's just a very thin, you know, it's a pen, pretty basic. And then there are two erasers. There's a hard eraser, which works as you might expect, kind of like a vinyl eraser. And then there's a soft eraser, which has much more subtlety to it. And the harder I press, the more it'll erase. It probably should be mentioned that this really only works if you have a pressure sensitive stylus. It will not work with a mouse. But these are the basic tools and you just switch between them by picking the item off of the tool preset. As you'll know by watching more of my videos, you know I like keyboard shortcuts. So the first keyboard shortcut I wanna teach you is the ability to switch tools. So once I've picked the brush I like and the eraser I like, I can just switch back and forth between those previous two tools with B for brush and E for eraser. And this is really nice when you get zoomed in, you're doing details, so you're adding some paint with B then hitting E to switch to the eraser, and back and forth like this. This will become second nature to you eventually, and that's what I encourage you practice. Brush, eraser, B, E. These are the essential keyboard shortcuts. Okay, let me clean up my space by deleting that layer. The next keyboard shortcut is how to make a straight line. So the way you do that, I'll make a new layer here, is with the brush tool active, you click or tap with your stylus, and then move over here and then shift, held down, click a second time. So you can click, shift, click, click, shift, click. This has a bit of a fade. The reason it does is because technically it's using the pressure applied at each press, but really it's just kind of a frustrating feature of the way Photoshop works. In fact, that's why I included the technical pen. So if you make a new layer and use the technical pen, it has no pressure sensitivity and so if you click, shift click, it just makes straight lines really nicely. This is the primary use I actually have for the technical pen. So I've made a little course over here if you wanna practice, uh, you know, drawing some straight lines. They don't need to be connected. You could click, shift click right here, click, shift click. A variation of that is when you're making a line, you can just hold down shift. So I'll use the hard round here and hold down shift and it automatically goes horizontal. The other version is vertical. Those are the only options you get. There's no diagonal with shift held down. So if you need to snap to an exactly horizontal or an exactly vertical line, hold down shift and it's easy to do. All right, and the final keyboard shortcut worth knowing is the diameter. So if you have a brush that starts out this size, but you wanna make a much bigger mark, all you do is hold down Alt, and right click and move left and right. So with Alt held down and then right click held down, I move left and right and I can change the diameter. So this is something I do all the time. Small mark, bigger mark, medium mark, zooming in, making marks of different sizes with the same brush. You'll do a lot of this. Get used to this keyboard shortcut. There's a lot more things that we'll get into that these tools are capable of, but for now, these six tools and these handful of keyboard shortcuts is plenty to get you going. And once you're feeling comfortable, I'll see you in the next video.